Hi Cancer, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is a read relationship reading for the um, 16th to the 22nd of February 2019. Having said that, if you are finding this on a different date, absolutely still watch. Divine Timing could be here to give you a message you're supposed to hear right now. Um, as timing is fluid, so also are roles within the, the reading. If you resonate more with the other person's role within the reading, then absolutely take the, the reading from the perspective that you resonate with and leave what doesn't resonate with you. Um, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with absolutely every cancer out there. If it does, take what does, leave what doesn't with love and light. If it doesn't at all, again, leave it with love and light. Um, what else? Um, always, always, always get any professional advice relating to a major life decision and do not make a major life decision based purely on a divination reading. You have free will. You have your own um, Jiminy Cricket in a conscience to follow within you. Um, you're a big kid. You didn't always follow mummy's advice, did you, or daddy's advice. Um, same situation with Tara. You can, it, can, it can advise you, give you a heads up tell you how to deal with it if you choose not to deal with it that way that's absolutely on you up to you um if you give a fig the um cards that i'm using are the naked heart tarot this is absolutely my favorite deck that i own it is gorgeous absolute gorgeous imagery um i'm a cancer sun so i like to use them for the water reads at the moment um sagittarius is important in your life at the moment cancer and also some healing and trying to balance things within your life. Um, this is a relationship reading. So if you're wondering who it's about, that's separate to the actual read, by the way. That's just a bit of info that's come from the cards whilst I've been shuffling and talking to you. Um, if you're wondering who this relationship reading is about, it's about whoever you are thinking about right now. You care a lot, Cancer. Okay. Um... It means a lot. We'll get to it. Don't worry. <laughs> I think that's it. So this, as this is a relationship reading, it, um, I'll go through the positions in a second as we go through. Um, I'm going to cut the deck now so that it's ready to do it. This is a reading for Cancer for the 16th to the 22nd of February 2019. Okay, so we'll do your feelings, their feelings at the moment, as, as how they are at the moment, their energy, your energy. Your energy, their energy, their feelings, to, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, um, the energy within the relationship. And then it's what you need to work on or what's going on with you at the moment. Um, same with them and then within the relationship. Then there will be advice and um, an outcome from there. Okay, so Cancer, your energy coming into this is the universe. You're closing out a cycle. It's also known as the world. The bumblebee uh, builds its own hive self-sufficient cycle works together really balanced as a as a insect it depends on it's ready to be relied upon it pollinates the earth we wouldn't survive without the bees you're irreplaceable you're in your element you are perfectly evolved into exactly what you're supposed to be how wonderful cancer you've worked on all your karma <laughs> Um, what they're coming out, their energy at the moment is Seven of Pentacles. They're currently assessing um, if certain things within their life are worth the effort, um, what they need to do to grow, um, where they need to apply their energies and efforts, uh, finances. They're very much dealing with where they want to go, what do they need to work on, making a decision. Um, your feelings towards them is nostalgia, reflection, innocent um, childhood memories, um, reflecting on the good old days um, it could be a past life connection um, but look at that unicorn it's special and precious and sparkly and isn't it beautiful and innocent hello Shima it's that energy of nostalgia and hey beautiful this is a Shima I wanted to call her death stroke my husband wouldn't let me apparently it's not appropriate for a four year old's cat to be called You get the reference i'm glad um their energy at the moment is they're trying to make a decision trying to get all the information any secrets that are out there and this is a decision that's going to stay it's going to anchor them um and, and once they've made it it's weighted that they're going to stick to that decision they're currently trying to make a choice 
about you. You may not even be aware of this person, Cancer, necessarily, um, or that they're actually considerate. You have feelings towards them. It could be an ex. They're currently trying to assess, is it worth a decision that involves you? Um, the energy between you both at the moment is, is the Five of Cups, which is feelings of loss, um, focusing on what's been gone. Traditionally, um, it's three cups on the floor and two cups stood up behind the person. Um, someone's been quite cold hearted. That, it's that feeling blue, heart cold, heart loss. Absolutely disparity. You know, you sort of think, oh, is it even worth going there again because everything's gone? It's that depressive, oh, my heart has shriveled up and died without them. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny, but it is. It's shriveled up and died and gone cold without them. It's not, I can't put, my heart can't beat without you, sort of thing. Um, and they think they've lost, you've lost the, per you think you've lost the other person. Um, but in the traditional deck, it is three cups have been spilled over. So you think that everything's gone and you're focusing on what you haven't got. When really behind you is the two cups and the two of cups is the soulmate card. And you, you still have that opportunity to be together as a partnership, but you're just not seeing it. It's disparity, cold heartedness, thinking that all is dead when really... It's it's not. I mean, what is that crow looking for? Maybe when you think they think about you or you think about them, you see a bird or some sort of bird. Crow, blackbird. Who knows? But you both feel that it's beyond the point of reviving it. I mean, that heart's been dead for ages. For years, maybe. It's been over for years. And they just... Um, what you need to work on is the fact that you're not seeing an opportunity for love and affection here. Again, focusing on three cups and not seeing the other, the opportunity, the cup that is available for you to take. Turning your back on, on that opportunity. Stubbornly turning your back. That panda is quite stubborn. I'm leaning on it. It's there. I don't want to look at it. don't want to deal with that right now. You're not seeing an option or you're not taking action on that option that is available to you. And the Ace of Cups is an opportunity for love, emotions, feelings. Um, what they're working on at the moment is heartbreak. Obviously, you're not together. If you look, that middle sword's actually grown within the chest wall. Been there a while look the rest of it's all decomposed and you're left with that beautiful beautiful rib cage and those three swords the heartache's been there a while they just live with it now they just live with the heartache of not being with you you are always always a factor in their decisions when they're weighing up whether it's worth moving forward with someone you are always a factor always they just haven't communicated that to you sorry my stomach's rumbling it's like half ten at night on Valentine's Day, and I had my Valentine's Day meal at lunchtime, so I've not eaten yet this evening. Um, between you is the sun. There is so much joy that could be available to you if you just go with it and feel and allow it to happen. This is a wonderful card to have in a love reading, by the way. True love brings joy reflecting over the good times you don't see each other with bad energy you see each other with good energy and happy thoughts and when you look back you just smile about them you hold no ill will you just wish them joy and you wish and they wish you joy even though you're hurt they're hurting and they're an opportunity but you don't see them as an opportunity for whatever reason this could be a Sagittarius Must come up again. Sagittarius is very important. Cancer. I mean, you thought this was done. That's why you've got the world. That is a completed cycle. 
and you look back at that opportunity with reflection but you don't think there's a possibility to go back there they always take you into account when they make decisions on a relationship but whatever decision they're making right now there's no real going back from it this is anchored in this is a fated decision they hurt when they think about you it's been there for a while you just sort of sit there like a regret in their heart that you both think is dead but really you could revel in each other's sunshine you just fire if they're a sagittarius and you're a cancer that's fire and water that's alchemy baby they don't go together they shouldn't go together but they do it's magic it makes steam god the sex must be amazing look balance you balance each other out you're the other half of each other light and dark water and fire up and down you could have libra in your chart as well because that just looks like a balance to me past justice that needs balancing out well temperance does balance out tempering means to balance out elements to create a amazing new thing it's like taking lead and shit and literally polishing it all up and making gold isn't it crowning glory look two roses love this Sagittarius was fated for you. Why the fuck aren't you taking the leap? You're just not seeing that they're an option. They bring you joy. When you think about them, they bring you joy and happiness. You don't harbour any ill will to them. Even though it's long dead, you still have joy for them. They still have joy for you. It's, there's no animosity there between you. You're refusing to see it as an option and refusing to take action on it or even perceive that you could take action on it, even though it's gone. They still consider you when they make choices about relationships. They've never committed to anybody because that commitment's not been made yet. You're there in the roots. These are all the other things, the balance, they balance out everything else, but you're still there fundamentally in their roots, in their core. You are the initial growth, the seed where they planned a future with you. They've not committed to anybody else. They still weigh you up in the options. You're still considered when they work out if anything else is worth it. Do they weigh up to you? This is long dead. This is like years dead, gone as far as you're both concerned five or a multiple of five years gone a third party may have been involved to cause the hurt well this is the choice see Two, choice of two people and they're in the middle and the heartbreak is what stops them making a choice one way or the other you are that third you're ingrained in their heart you've grown in their heart you are their thought in their their first thought is you the fundamental thought is you you are ingrained in their heart and their feelings no matter how long's gone you're always planted there you were probably a first love. How they feel about you, mother of wands, queen of wands. They're passionate about you, driven about you. Emotionally about, committed to you. They see you as a person they could nurture with. You could have sex and nurture and growth and you could just boom, explode together in a controlled, maintaining the home fires burning kind of way. You know, that fire will never really go out. It's always there. You encourage confidence in each other. Aries and energy, you're driven for each other. You'd fight for each other, defend each other. You instinctively know you're supposed to be there. The fox is all about instinct. It's animalistic, but it's also gentle from those flowers. There's a lot of good sex going on. You feel the sex. You both 
feel the sex on a soul level. You just connect. It's just magic. Father of Cups, you both balance each other. It could also be something to do with a Scorpio. You do. You you know they they're emotionally stable. You're both emotionally stable to, to have this happen. There's that couplet to offer. They're ready to, to settle down and commit to you. If you just gave them the chance. They may have Scorpio in their chart, but I'm not getting that it is a Scorpio because the Sagittarius is a major arcana card for the Sagittarius. It's the only major other than the sun on there, which would suggest to me it's a sun sign, Sag. Which really wouldn't go with you, Cancer. You're supposed to put each other out. But they are ready to, to, to commit to you. It's not a night because it's not they're not offering the cup to you. But that cup is there and wholly realised and ready for you to pick up. Someone betrayed the other, that's why it ended. That mouse is dead, rat is dead. It's betrayal, stabbed in the back. But that's done with. It's not like the Seven Swords where it's all fresh and it's happened and they feel deceived. This is dead and done with. This is just... They've processed what happened. And if it's a quite a naive childhood love and you cheated on them, it's not like cheating when you're older and you're sleeping with people and betraying with proper feelings. This is like, you might have been like, 15 and you snogged somebody else or that's oh, no, a bit older than that something happened when you were 14 and 21 between 14 and 21 They were the best years you had together. It was 14 and 20. Between the ages of 14 and 21. Because you've got the Sag energy coming through. 19 is significant as well. Things could have started. Sorry, that's still rumbling. My stock's still rumbling. Um, something started when you were 14. It's probably when you knew each other. Hence the nostalgic Six of Cups. Um, something significant happened at 19 and at 21 is when you parted ways and when everybody thought everything was done I don't know when the heartbreak happened but something you betrayed the, and you could have betrayed somebody betrayed somebody at 19 but this is like a first love that you ne they've never really got over them and I'm You refuse to look back at it as an option or you don't even think that it's an option so you don't even you refuse to believe it's an option so you refuse to even look at it as an option does that make sense who betrayed who she's a flirt he wanted to settle she cheated on him The Cancer cheated on the Sag. She cheated on him and he he just loved her wholly. There was nobody else. She was a flirt, probably snogged someone else and betrayed him. Because it's quite young. They went she it wasn't sleeping as such. Betrayed, so where do we go? Magician, you can manifest anything, Cancer. Anything. That cup's there available to you. You can communicate. There's still passion there. Look, that rod is right up there. You're an infinitely, infinity, infinite. Duality. Back and forth with each other. 
they ground you you ground them they're the basis of what you base everything on they were the first idea they were the first hope they were the first person you visioned this on sounds ridiculous but you were quite committed to each other even though you were quite young you saw a future with them you could have easily been with them childhood sweethearts that grew along if you were a little bit older instead of 14 you were 19 when you met you could have then started everything then and then grown together at 21 you parted ways like it was done at 21 there was no you both felt there was no going back at that point you can't see them as an option for whatever reason you can't see them as an option or you refuse to see them as an option because if you let yourself see them as an option it opens up this whole big emotional cup that you probably have for them and you keep it hidden you hide it you block it from anybody else's view it's not an option nobody can see this option it's not available you can't see that i have these feelings you can't see that that's where my cup truly lies that somebody else that I have that to offer. And that is my cup to offer in the Two of Cups. Wow. You just love each other. It's kind of love where you just want to see each other happy. Hazel eyes are important. Oh, that looks like my eye. Ooh, perhaps I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> you have a vision of where you're supposed to be. You can make it happen. If you could wish anything, would you wish this sad on you? Would you do it all again if they were over the hurt? If you could learn to trust each other? They could trust you, heal. Mm, the, subject, the temperance is all about healing. He has a deep, true love for you. This Saj has a... I say he because it's the father of cups. You're still passionate and driven and committed to them. Passion. It's quite funny, actually, that the Sag is coming out as this deep, committed water sign and you're coming out as this passionate fire sign, fire energy. You mirror each other. You, it's, you balance each other. You're technically, the to me, Cancer is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is looking for the King of Cups and, you know, the Sag is fire energy, looking for their queen. If they're a male fire sign, they're looking for their queen. If you're going strictly hetero energies. Gender means nothing in tarot, by the way. If you're a girl that loves a girl or a boy that loves a boy and this is that energy, fuck it. That's whatever. This is just archetypes. It's not specific genders. But something's coming in like a bolt of nowhere this week. It's going to shake your foundation. So if you're with someone else, everything you know at the moment in your life, it's coming like a bolt of lightning to blast your beach. Unsettle your waters. This is going to unbalance your emotions and make you feel things that you probably shouldn't. That is fire and water. The fusion of fire and water is just going to come out of nowhere this week. It's amazing. Cancer, that's amazing. I'm hoping that that lightning bolt is either the realisation that you love them and you manifest that the relationship back or celebration with friends. 
could be a third party involved in this by the way they could be with someone else or you're with someone else but ultimately it's a celebration about you too it's beautiful cancer i mean it's heartbreaking but it's it's be oh the star something happened when you were 17 as well 14 17 19 21 something significant happened at these ages between the two of you this is a teenage sweetheart love healing destiny recover after the tower and because this has come with the celebration card it's, it's probably a celebration like finally this is amazing how are we back together how is he back in my life how is she back in my life they feel the same about me. The, the star comes after the tower in the arcana. So you've got 16, 17. Maybe there were feelings when you were 14 and you were 16 and 17 when you were together and then you broke up, but you're still friends and you're still happy for each other at 19. And then something happened when you were 19. And at 21, you just stopped even talking or communicating. Whatever. Who knows? But the star is hope and healing and balsam and destiny and wishes and wishes fulfilled and direction and purpose and divine purpose. You have the sun, you have the world, a, a cycle that you thought was done. You have temperance, balancing fire and water. You have the t magician, the tower, the star. This is all about manifesting that love, that divine love back into your, what you thought was closed is now working its way backwards through the, through the, through the arcana almost. Manifesting, wishing for this person to come back into your life and bam out of nowhere. And then if they do, celebration and divine purpose to be together. And healing of all those years you've had apart. Many, many years. It's all cups and fire. Water and fire and alchemy and beautiful. It's beautiful, Cancer. It's a really long reading, actually. This is like twice the length of some of my other reads. And normally, normally it's Sag that gets this. Sag is involved. Sagittarius is haunting me. There you go. Um, please let me know below if this resonated. Watch the Sagittarius read. Watch all the Sagittarius reads for about the last six months because if you are their soulmate and their person that they can't get over, you need to watch their reads because, especially if you have Libra in your chart, because you need to, <laughs> you need to watch their reads, especially anything post october um it just keeps coming up that they're in love with their tw and if it's you oh my god <sighs> anyway have a look if you've got libra in your chart especially watch the sagittarius that sounds ridiculous say libra and watch sagittarius but they're connected in the most two most recent leads reads that i've done sagittarius and libra are connected so if you have libra in your chart or that you need to watch that i'm a cancer sun libra moon if only i knew who the sag was eh right um not that these readings come through for me they don't anyway i am hoping that leads to where i hope it's leading that sunshine could be amazing for both of you Heal past hurts with that star and that temperance and oh my god. If it's not a Sag, if it's somebody else you're resonating with, just leave the Sag bit. It's, it's the balancing of healing energies and combining the two of you together. But it's almost certainly a fire sign. Um, but absolutely. Um, could be a Scorpio as well in the mix there because there was the Scorpio on the King of Cups. But it just didn't come through like that Sag. In my reads, there is a Sag and a Cancer. Please just tell me if you two are together because, or in love with each other because, oh my God, that is divine love. That's just magic. Finally, they all come together after six months. It's like, oh, amazing. Um, I'm sending so much love and light to you. 
Thank you so much for your time. Let me know below if it resonates. I will see you soon. Love and light. Namaste.